is Jay and today I'm here with a video where I'm going to predict some of my five star reads. I've been seeing this a lot on booktube lately where basically you pick a couple of books that you think you would end up giving five stars so I picked a total of five to hopefully give five stars too. So without further ado, let us get started. And I just made my Fitbit fall off. <laughs> ha! that in the video. So all of these are actually thriller suspense books because those are usually the ones that I give up five stars to because I am the self-proclaimed thriller queen and therefore those are the books that I like to read. So the first one that I think I would give five stars to is Watch Me by Angela Clark. I recently bought this book and it seriously sounds so good. I'm gonna read you guys the tagline just so like you get an idea and a feel for what it's all about but it says you have six seconds to read this message. You have 24 hours to save the girl's life. Make them count. Does that not just sound like it's gonna be hecka good? Uh yeah it does. So I am so excited to get into it. I only have 44 more days until my schooling is over for the year, which means I can read as much as I want. So in 44 days, you know your girl gonna get to this book and hopefully give it five stars. The next book I'm thinking I'm probably gonna give five out of five stars to is Sherry LaPena's A Stranger in the House. She wrote The Couple Next Door, which I absolutely loved. I gave five out of five stars. So based off of that, I'm thinking if it's similar, I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. It follows this woman who gets a phone call late at night while she's waiting for her husband to come home. So she ends up driving to this neighborhood she thought she would never visit again. And then she doesn't remember anything after that. The police are telling her husband that she got into an accident and that she lost control of her car. She can't remember anything, so she doesn't know if this is true or not, but she thinks that something bad actually happened. I just think that it sounds really good. A lot of people read it a while ago on booktube when it first came out but I tried to like avoid spoilery things because I don't want to know. So I actually have no idea if people like it or not. I'm interested, I'm intrigued, and I'm really excited to get to it. The next book that I have here is Keep Her Safe by Sophie Hanna. This book follows a woman named Kara who is running away from her life basically and she books a room in a hotel and when she goes to unlock her hotel room one night there's actually people already in it so she's thinking that maybe they messed up at the front desk somehow. That's when she realizes that the girl in her room is actually the most famous murder victim in America. So like, um, what? What? I'm so intrigued by this. I bought this so long ago and I've been in school so I haven't been able to read it. But again, 44 more days and then your girl gonna read all the suspense novels and she's so excited. So the next book that I'm thinking I'm gonna give five out of five stars is Blood Sisters by Jane Corey and this follows three girls who set off to school one morning and then within the hour one of them is dead. Then 15 years later Kitty, one of the girls, has no memory of the accident that landed her in an institution. And one of the other girls, Allison, is looking to become an art teacher and she isn't getting any jobs and that's when the local jail offers her a job. Then Kitty and Allison both realize that somebody is watching them and they want their revenge. So like, again, just sounds like a super good thriller suspense novel and I need to read it 44 more days! Then the final book that I'm thinking 5 out of 5 stars is Local Girl Missing and this is by Claire Douglas and it's about a girl named Sophie who starts dating this boy and her best friend is kind of having hesitant feelings towards the boy. She doesn't really like him. She's heard a couple of things that he has a temper and then Sophie goes missing. Then 20 years later Frankie who is the best friend gets a call from Sophie's brother Daniel saying that there were remains found around where Sophie went missing. Frankie decides that she's going to go back to her hometown to try to get closure. When she goes to the pier where Sophie went missing, she sees a girl there who looks exactly like Sophie. So she's not sure if this is Sophie's ghost or if Sophie is actually alive and it's basically the story of her trying to figure out everything that happened. And I just think, again, it sounds so good. So again, 44 more days and your girl gonna get into it and let you know what she thought of it, but she's beyond excited. All right guys, so that was the five books that I think I'm going to give five out of five stars. When I read them, I'll let you know if that's actually true, but let me know down below if you've read any of them and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!